We are now joined by Honourable Wallace Cosgrove of the Seychelles. Honourable, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Now, it's day two of the AEF 2018. What are some of your impressions from the first day? Oh, actually, um, looks very impressive. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't imagine it would be, was my first time, it would be that, uh, that big. Uh, the participation is, is very good. In fact, there's a lot of private sector participation, which is very good, as well as uh, with some, you know, interactive sessions, which for me as well, I see it's, it's, it's excellent. Let's speak about some of those interactive sessions. Yesterday we had a panel discussion with government representatives from different countries mm -hmm. and some of the sentiments that came out of there were, you know, government's role in the public and private partnerships in making power generation work in African countries. What specifically is the government of the Seychelles doing in terms of power generation? Okay, I think first of all I think it's important to have uh, uh, government involvement because of uh, you know legislative frameworks, policy frameworks that needs to be there in the country to, if you want to, to have investor confidence. So this this uh, government uh, involvement is extremely important to set the, set the scene properly for private sector investment. But I think uh, the expertise it's in the private sector and uh, the innovation, the expertise it's there, and there are various companies now who are, you know, um, coming up with brilliant new technology, which for us in the Seychelles would be very advantageous because of, of, of our size, our uniqueness, our size, our small land mass. We have big ocean, the small land mass. And for us, you know, innovative uh, um, technologies would suit us very, very perfectly, if I can put it like this. What about collaborations with other African countries? Okay, um, we are we are ready to, to partner with, with uh, any country, any country, especially countries from Africa, because we are part of the of the African continent. Uh, although we are a small island nation mm. uh, on the east coast of Africa, but we feel very much part of the African continent. And um, I believe cooperation with African countries is, is very essential for us. Especially now that we are looking at um, diversifying a bit our energy base, we, we're looking at uh, going eventually exploring the possibility of going uh, using LNG for, for power production as well as uh, putting in the mix um, um, renewable energy as well because of uh, obvious reasons. For we know that in Mozambique uh, they have uh, um, gas. We know that countries in the region uh, are looking at um, gas possibilities and we know that also in countries uh, within our region they are, they are also looking at the possibility for increasing uh, uh, renewable energy within their, their respective countries. So for us partnering with African countries, those who have done it and also those who are on the same path as us that are actually looking at the various possibilities, for us it's a very exciting opportunity. Honorable Cosgrove, just finally, this forum is essentially a meeting of minds. What are you hoping will be the outcomes at the end of the week? Okay, um, for me, we've 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 had a few interactions. We we what we did was yesterday during the panel discussions, I announced the interest for Seychelles, well, for companies to to consider um, investing in a solar farm in Seychelles, a floating solar farm, which is which we consider as something very innovative because it's, it's, uh, it's not as, as common as you know, solar farms on, on land. So we launched the, this initiative and we've had so much uh, um, interest from various companies. This morning again we met with a few companies from, from Canada and, um, and I think for us coming out of this forum we would very much be happy if we can see the interest from the private sector, from the various countries, and, uh, and eventually get things moving on the ground in Seychelles with good, reputable companies that can help us uh, find solutions for you know, our energy sector, more specifically the renewable energy sector. We'll have to leave it there, Honorable. Thank you so much. Thank you.